Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, uh, doing some uh, White Frost. Uh, they got a little bit of a buff. Um, kind of liking it. I like all the changes to it. This is something I came up with. Um, I think it's a fun list. I think it uh, catches people off guard. And uh, Predatory Dive. I mean, that's all you need to know right there. <laughs> the red coin abuse ultimate tool predatory dive I guess it's even better with organic because uh, you get the one point after but um, you could put you could put another uh, movement tool here if you want I just have it in here because I love punishing the greed man I love punishing the greed um, going through the cards though um, there is one foglin in here it can get out of hand I absolutely, I went over this, it might be in the video, I'm not sure. Uh, I love the change to this Winter Queen. This card is so awesome. Um, it puts people in a really rough spot. It's almost like Mahakam Horn for monsters. It's a tempo pass play that they have to deal with. Sure, it dies to Tourney Joust, Oil, stuff like that. But it's also, too, making them use low tempo when there's already four points of damage going off which is going to be eight points if they can't pass you in one turn so i mean it can get i think it can get out of hand really quick if they don't if they're not real careful they might be going down a card so uh i love this card i think it's fantastic um awesome job by cdpr on this one um Old Spear Tip, fun card to play round one, uh, especially if you want to get that uh, Old Spear Tip out, get that dominance. Late game, it can get kind of weird because if they yoink it or lock it, uh, you know. Uh, I had Osril instead of Toad Prince, but he was underperforming because I just didn't seem to draw this Old Spear Tip. You can switch that back. Toad Prince comes in kind of clutch in the Northern Realms matchup, eating, you know, students. Um, but yeah, really fun list. Navigator's got a, a nice buff. I love the warrior change. Um, I just, I love all of it. I love the change of this. The Red Riders, being able to replay a movement tool and put Frost on the board. Massive. Absolutely massive. I love it. Uh, cheeky Parasite in here just for some removal. Um, Imlirith's Wrath with Imlirith. Nice combo. If, they, if you do pull like a something small and they don't watch what they're doing, you know, you can kill something if Imlarith is on the board. So they got to be wary of that as well. So if there's something big on the board and they just want to smack it and they got a 29 point Sea Jackal, well, thank you very much. <laughs> um, but I, I love the way the deck fun functions. It is it is one of those things where it's kind of slow. But you are getting a, a decent amount of points now with these bronzes now. That was the biggest problem. It was like you were just playing these bronze cards and they weren't doing anything unless you had dominance. And even then, they were super underwhelming. Now they, you know, they can chunk out some serious points. So um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, games were played on uh, my Twitch, twitch.tv slash devil driven. The eyes in it are L's. It'll be a link in the description uh, if you want to catch up with me more on there. Um, that's usually where I do my recordings now. I just do them live. So if you want to hang out, um, deck suggestions. I usually throw the decks out early too, um, so you can get them a little bit earlier than YouTube. So I just I really appreciate you guys so much, man. For just I, I say it all the time, but you know I just don't see I don't hear people say it enough. You know what I mean? Like if you're a content creator. Your community is, you know, you know, you guys have been behind me for five years, so I'm just, I'm just very grateful, man. There's been a lot of people that have come and went. I'm still here, so thank you so much. Uh, probably three games we'll throw in here, maybe a bonus game uh, later on in the week, and then also too we'll have some uh, Scoyatel gameplay, so that should be fun too, so. I'll see you guys at the end. I'm sorry. I'm super bad with pronunciation. I, I, you can butcher my name <laughs> if you want. <laughs>
All right, so we have the predatory dive. Let's see what we get out of it. Please use the boost. Please. It's a no headphones kind of day. I'm just... Jamming. In my head. So he goes foglet with... Oh, he went for it too. Rip. <laughs> oh, that's gonna sting. It's gonna sting, sir. Okay. So he wants dominance. He's he's hell bent on getting dominance, right? What does he want dominance for? I say we go here. Okay, so he's gonna hit us back, huh? Okay. Where are you from? French Canadian? Oh, I'm in Ohio. Which apparently is an Elden Ring, from what I understand. <laughs> I loved Canada. I was uh, I used to go to uh, Niagara Falls when I was a little kid. My grandpa used to go there. Well, take we us there all the time. It was fun. My ice will pierce both your hearts and minds. So now we can movement. He can kill this. Toad Prince hurts, but does he go the... He goes there, huh? Okay. That's fine. So now he passes. He doesn't have a lot of frost down. So I can replay this. So he replays the seven. So it played for four. Good shape. We still got this. Gels can play another one of these. He keeps going. got a good shot here. Looking for a new Gwent deck, any ideas? Um, hold on one second. Let me, uh, we have to pass here because this is going to be too, unless we kill it. But is it worth killing? I mean, we didn't really spend anything. He just passes because he gets 12. I played Nilfgaard. Um, that's right up my alley, sir. Um, after this game, I'll show you the deck. Um, got me to rank 2. I've done pretty well with it. And 
because it's non-devotion, it usually eats up this devotion stuff that's going around. I'm just playing this mostly for content reasons, <laughs> basically. Um, let's get rid of this. And this? Okay. Does he bleed us? I didn't think so. It's a Matic deck. Um, it, well, it's kind of Matic, but you can use or use the Matic with Kingslayer and get two Matics if you're going up against control stuff, or you can go double Snowdrop. So it's Hyper Thin, Matic. I don't know if that's something you'd be interested in. I think we play the Oberon first, to be honest, and just go for the, I guess it's a good finisher. Monsters, yeah, they're kind of slow though, I'm not going to lie. Um, so Nogglefar, and we're looking for either Iridin or Old, or old Spear Tip Asleep. He's going to move this. It dies. I think we go here. Go for this. Kind of a wasted turn, but it's fine. He's going to move it, right? But then we have movement. I don't have a very good... So we move this up. We move that up. We got three... We go six. So it only hits for two. He moves that up. The movement gets kind of awkward in these matchups. But we both have two movements. I can kind of save mine with Oberon. I guess we play this to eat this. He plays his Oberon early. Okay, so we play ours early. He does the same thing I want to do. Oh, he didn't have Dominance though. Ripper. Nice. Here's how it's done, sir. Two can play that game. Oh, we don't have dominance again, though. Shit. We did the we we did the same mistake he did. Um. We just go here, right? Keep piling the frost down. Move over. Move this to the back, huh? I guess if we can keep dominance, we we could boost. We could play this and boost this. If we stay at nine. I think I want to save this Aridin first. So I, I use the navigator to boost by four. He plays... What? Ah, he's gonna have a big boy. Darn it. He has the 13. 
Oh, that's not too bad. It's a 10. So he wants to move that. That's fine. Um, so we don't have dominance again. Now we can boost, which is huge. Go here. Boost up that for double. So his Aridin is dead. So he's got a Foglet for seven? Oh shit. See what we get. Ooh, that's good. I can kill his. He doesn't have dominance yet. Very nice. All right, let me get you this. Deck. So that wasn't too bad. Obzio, is that how you say your name? You by the way, Are you I enjoy your content. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we bricked it. Obzio. Got it. Damn. What do we play now? I guess we just gotta go here. Are you cold, human insect? Yeah, the emphasis is on the eye. Bricking this hurt. That's a nice proactive play. I mean, we can get dominance. He's going to move it, really. Leader charges in this matchup, I think, would be at a premium. And he plays it in the frost. <laughs> what? Alright, so we bump this back up. We go here. We've caught another And we get three turns there. Totally butchered my name. I butcher everybody's name, dude. You can butcher mine. I promise. You can call me whatever you want. All the L's in my name, the way I just spell it on Twitch, you could chop it up to pieces, man. <laughs> Go ahead. I apologize. I'm just bad with that stuff. Um, 12. That's, uh... It's a huge problem. Uh, with a bricked hand, too. We don't have dominance. I guess we just gotta play this. See, there you go. Drivel Deverin. I ain't even mad, because I deserve it. Because I can't read. <laughs> oh no, don't kill this guy. He didn't do anything to anybody. We don't have dominance. Damage enemy unit by two. We don't have dominance. Um... Uh... So we go for this, and this, and this, it gets out the queen, chunking away at this Imlarith, 
that I think I'm going to cut out of this deck that I currently have. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't throw out the Wrath. He might. Alright. He spent more than I did, I will say. Not really. So he's a Mamuna friend. He plays Mamuna. So he moves this back. There's Frost still back here. So we replay this back here. We replay back here. Play this. And boost this guy. Too bad I don't have a Foglet. Foglet would be huge. We have Dominance now. Yeah, we have Dominance. That's good. He wants to get rid of that, huh? But he's losing value on his Nogglefar. He used both his leader charges. I could play this, but then we still have dominance. So we hit this. Still good. I'm probably going to have to use Wrath, though. Wait, do I get out? I get out, right? Because this gains two, okay? So I get eight points. Right? This is the horn of a... Uh... Oh, it was only four points. So now I get nothing. But that's okay. I feel like I got off cheap. I spent all bronzes except for gels. Ah, uh, yeah. If you didn't get the... The what's it called? He had to play that. That's kind of huge. And it didn't even get him there. Oh, no. Here comes the concede in three, two, one. He's gonna play it. Yeah, I had an account on PlayStation. I didn't transfer the account over though, because I did I only played it every once in a while. Just to like sit on the couch and play Gwent, basically. I think I'm just going to go for the long finisher with the riders. Ooh, maybe not. So what's this pulling? There's a lot of stuff in there yet. Alright, so we're just playing the riders. So we are a card up. And a whole leader up. So I can eat his first uh, Frosty Friend, because he still has one left. Nagofar Crew. That's good. We have this for this. Predatory Dive does nothing because we're on the wrong coin. And... I guess we just leave it like this. He doesn't have leader charges, so I can stack with Oberon. How does he kill it? Because I just go for Imlarith on the 12 and draw. I end up probably drawing Old Spear Tip. I'm going to cry. I 
I think we just go here. I love this board. It's so awesome. I didn't realize the one board for the... See, because this deck's like the deck I have. If it has, it has problems with proactivity. If you ain't got nothing proactive, see, he's going to do the same shit. He's just going to spawn it here. Okay, watch this. Yeah, my favorite part about it is when you play bombs, the fireworks go off. So, and I'm a Matic player, so this is just all all love for me. It's got the big old Eye of the Tiger on it. Peak Frost Mirror. <laughs> I mean, he has to play something now or his chick dies, right? It's going to die anyways because I'm going to use this, but... Goes Oberon. Interesting. Okay. I came, I saw, I conquered. Again. All right, so we move. Get another horn for my collection. We go here. Ah. Is there a way to kill it? Parasite, right? But we don't really care. We want to kill Aridin, right? I think we move this up and to be on the safe side kill this seems fair if he has what's it called um, okay so here's where the the toad prince comes into play that's nice Nom, 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 nom. So we get that. I think next we play Iridin. Okay. So he still has Foglets coming into play here. Um... Yeah, we let that die, because it's getting value. Probably use a movement tool with Oberon. There's the... okay. Oh shit. It doesn't die just yet. Well, wait. It, it does, because it hits for five, and it dies because we have threes. Right? Not bad. That was the card. We could have just... Well, that one we can't move. But... This is going to hurt. That's fine. We move... We move this. What do we play with it? Creatures. They shall not be missed. This plays for the most, right? I probably should have moved the 11 back so I kept dominance, but... That's fine. We should be good, right? Yeah, the predator it's gotten some good plays, man. So we get the good the good value here. Told you to 
we would have got the sleeping spear tip, that would have been sadness, but we are good. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't really have answers for <laughs> the dead, the dead Nagofar. I've been there, brother. I've been there. 